Hi everybody. So in our last, uh, in the last video, I had uh, sealed all of the foam ribs into the trailing edges of the elevators using uh, tank sealant, two-part tank sealant. Have them clean coat up, or in the case of the trim tab, I just went ahead and riveted, <coughs> or at least riveted the front half. Uh, they've been curing for a few days, and now it is time for the flush riveting, double flush. Nice close-up of the elevator there forever. So yeah, uh, first thing, we'll just go ahead and start with the trim tab. So it does call for uh, to, to be back riveted. Uh, for a number of reasons, it just didn't quite work out. You can see me giving it a try here, but it just, uh, b basically because of the difference in the angle, so that when you did it in a rudder, the trailing edge came to a spike, it was a little wedge. Uh, in the elevators and trim tab, it is not a wedge, and it actually, instead of coming to a point, actually gets thicker at the back. And so shimming that so that it is perfectly flush, and you can rest the trim tab on a perfectly flat table. And it, anyway, it just it didn't work out. The trig just wasn't happy. So, uh, as you just saw, what I did was I took a flat die from the squeezer, just a spare thick one ahead, went over to the bench grinder and made an angled die uh, that would fit with a flat set on the opposite side to do the elevator trailing edge and trim tab edge. Lots a lot to say in the, this early in the morning. Plus, it gave me the the uh, it gave me the control over that double flush riveting that I really wanted. So, just uh, test fitting the trim tab on there. Now the trim tab uh, hinge, of course, comes uh, extra long, and so does the uh, rod that uh, holds it together. So what they want you to do is uh, take it at a certain length, uh, bend it 90 degrees, and then bend it back down. We'll call this the belly cam. Basically, you cut it and then angle it so that it folds up against the body of the elevator, and then you can uh, actually wire it into place. You can safety wire it into place. And let me tell you that wire that the, is. Uh, that wire that's in there is uh, stiff. It is hard steel. I thought it was like a coat hanger. No, I was completely wrong. So my way after that, uh, it was time to rivet up the backs of the elevators, or the rest of them. So here I have a new member joining me today. He's uh, He hadn't ever worked on the uh, plane before, so I Thought it'd be fun to have him throw some rivets. Started with some pop ones and then pulled the uh, pulled the squeezer out. Anyway, so they were all done, and uh, that's that's nice. Uh, so they they got finished rib being riveted up, and they're uh, just waiting to have the leading edges bent, which will be later. So see you soon.